Hey friends, Jill Heinerth here. I understand you're looking for a rebreather instructor for your first journey into rebreathers. Well, congratulations, you're gonna have a ball. But I wanna give you a few tips on finding the right instructor. You see, it's not about the training agency at all. It's about the experience and the teaching style of that potential instructor. So really, it takes a long time and many hundreds and hundreds of hours in the water to gain experience on a rebreather, experience to the level of being an instructor. And it's got to be dive hours that are outside of teaching because so much more can happen when you're not teaching. And that valuable experience can be passed on to your students. So I would argue that it's probably best to get an instructor who is diving primarily on the unit that you're interested in and, and deal with them because they're completely focused on that and they'll have lots to share with you. They should be current, so recent experience. And that's something to you know consider during these COVID times. You wanna make sure that someone's been in the water a lot with recent experience to ensure um, their proficiency. One of the best things that you can do to find that instructor is to interview people. An experienced instructor will never feel offended because you wanna interview them and know about their past and their current experience. So feel free, have all your questions organized and ask them, you know, how many hours do you have on this rig? Uh, when was your last dive? What kind of diving do you do? What's your teaching style like? Are you gonna give me some like gentle, you know, love and support or is this gonna be more like boot camp? <laughs> Regardless of the training agency, we have a basic minimum standardization in most courses. So you'll learn similar things no matter who you get involved with. But it's that experience and that time in the water that's going to offer you, you know, the best tools for moving forward. I mean, I've been diving on rebreathers since the mid 1990s, but I'm not here to pitch you today as your potential liberty instructor because I don't feel that I have enough hours yet on this unit or that I'm diving it solely full time to be your instructor. So find somebody who is. I mean, also, like I said, during these COVID times, we have a lot of downtime right now. And so the hundreds of hours I would normally have in the water every year are, are far fewer. So it's a big decision. It's a big investment, but this is a life support device don't get an instructor based on the cheapest price and understand that this is a journey, not just a predetermined number of days to get a card. You've got to perform mastery in every single skill before a good instructor will let you know that you have earned your qualification on a rebreather. So make the right choice, think about it, interview your instructor, and then enjoy Enjoy the process. You're going to absolutely love your next adventure in rebreathers.